I'm playing two tubes. I'm playing facility. Okay, nice and loud. You guys may begin. Two students are interviewing famous famous thinkers who have become come from various time periods to discuss human rights. Through the magic of a time machine, we are able to bring together in modern times a group of people who help shape our famous American sentence from the Declaration of Independence. Let them bring that sentence together. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is a really great sentence, isn't it? I bet everyone thought you were really pretty cool when you wrote that. Well, many people did like the Declaration of Independence. It established the United States of America as a new country and gave it place on April 6th. But this particular sentence was something every American already knew it to. So you didn't think of the sentence all by yourself? No, I did not. I was trying to say, I was I wasn't trying to say anything new. I was just trying to express the American. I, 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 wrote, I wrote the words many Americans in 1776 were thinking these ideas before they ever wrote the Declaration of Independence. So where did these great ideas come from? Well, some of, some of the people are here at this, at this table. So let's see who wrote the time machine that's brought you here today. Can you please tell us about yourself? I am Thucydides, the Greek historian. The history books I have read are still around today. Have you read my books, Mr. Jefferson? Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. Read every one of your books that I can. I made a famous speech at a funeral of an important government leader in 429 BC. Would you like to hear what I said? Yes. yes. Our government favors that may, many instead of few. This is why it is called a democracy. If we look at the laws, they afford equal justice to all. Okay, can you say more about that? Democracy means rule by people. That means we care about everyone. There are not a few people who are important. We care about the rights of all. That is a very important idea in America. Equal justice for all means the law is everyone the same. No, no one has more rights than anyone. Well, that's not how we look at it in Europe. We have always some people better than others. For example, me. I'm the English law. I am really better than anybody else. I was born that way. How did that come to be? Well, the king and queen has always wanted special people around them to help them out. And so we get special favors from the king and queen. Sort of like you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Sounds like a good deal. And we like feeling better than anybody else. It's fun to lord it over regular people and peasants. Okay. I think I understand what you're saying. Wait a minute. It's not okay at all. That's just not right. And who are you? I am John Locke. I come to you from 1690. I do not believe it is right for some people to think they are better than others. So you have not forgotten my word? I have read about the Greeks and Romans and ideas about democracy. Mr. Jefferson, have you read my books? Oh, yes. I have read your books and many other people who thought like you did. Then you know I read the sentence, all men are created equal before you even belong. Yes. I know you wrote that. I, and I knew you would, would not mind if I followed your truth. When you first wrote them, many people got excited. People courted you so many times. I think you got excited first. I'm glad the idea caught on. I don't mind if people use my words. The idea is much better than I am. Besides, you know, I learned it from the Greeks and Romans. What else did you write in your book? Being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. That sounds like life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. America, America, in my day, knew this idea very well. Other writers of my time included this statement. When I wrote the Declaration of Independence, I included the words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Silence, you common peasants! Speak not again! And who do you think you are? <coughs> I know who I am, and you better know it too. I am His Royal Highness, the mighty and magnificent King James of England. Oh, I've heard of you. Didn't you start in Jamestown or something? Yes, I gave the Royal Court Charter, allowing the establishment of the colony of Virginia in 1607. But I never intend for people to have ideas like the ones you all speak. 
What ideas do you have? I wrote something called The Divine Rights of Right of Kings in 1598. It says that God made me king and sent me over you peasants. Well, have you heard of the Declaration of Independence? It says the Creator gave certain unalienable rights to all men. This is not what I wrote in my book. Well, just because you said something doesn't make it right and didn't think everyone believed in it just because you said it. Whatever I say goes. It does not matter what what you believe or say. Kings were the authors and makers of the laws, and not the laws of the kings. Uh, king, aren't you a bit of a bully? Silence, you peasant! The king's the lord, the whole land, and master of everyone who lives there. I have power over your life and death. Well, actually, you don't. No one believes that anymore in America or in England. Well, how can we have order in the land if people don't obey and fear the king? We believe that the, what the Greek said, that people rule, and the law gives equal justice to all. May I say something here? I'm an English citizen. In 1689, you wrote the acts declaring the rights and liberties of the subject. Subject means the common people. We knew our country was ruled by a king. We also knew we have rights that the king cannot overstep. You may have thought about the same time I wrote the old man of king's people. We declared that the, that the king or queen does not have more power in the law. We said that the English people do claim, demand, and insist upon their undoubted rights and liberties. Well, what is this world coming to? It looks to me that the world is coming to an understanding that all people have rights, but no one should take them away. Mr. Jefferson called them unalienable rights. Governments do not give people rights. Rights are God-given. People have rights because they are human, not because someone gave them rights. And governments exist to protect people's rights. Exactly. That's why we we have that we have to put that thing that says in, in the Declaration of Independence. It has to be written down for all people to read and understand. So now that we know a little bit more where all these ideas came from, let's all say that sentence one more time. We, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with a certain. still important to even more than folks. And I can't wait to get back to my time in the world. I can stay at all your people because you're as good as me. I too desire to return to my time, and I know I'm meant to be the supreme ruler. I find your ideas to be very upsetting. Well, me? I place kings and officials in more than I to share power with the people. I'm going back to my time to work on ideas. I hope you thought too. But I'm proud of you young people and how you still share your ideas. Thanks for coming here today to help us see how ideas 